Discover Seen, and Heard Pro in 5 minutes. I'll talk you through all of the basics so that you can start using everything it has to offer. Scene and Heard Pro is a visual scene display AAC app. At its core it allows you to create visual scenes and video visual scenes quicker than ever before with either voice recordings or synthesized speech. You can add hotspots that play audio and videos, link to other scenes or activate transition to literacy features. This is the first screen you will see when you open Scene and Heard Pro. What you can see here is a variety of sample scenes, these have been designed by our team to give you an idea of just how much you can do with visual scenes. Let's walk through the layout of the app. In the navigation panel on the far left are the folders, then the scenes within the folders. These can be image visual scenes, video visual scenes, or grids. Tapping a scene will bring it into focus in the main window. You can choose to hide or show this navigation panel as shown with the gray X icon. Pressing on a hotspot will begin whichever action was assigned to it at creation. Opening the navigation panel again, you can see four other icons at the top. Edit, Visual Timetable, Communication Book and Settings. Tapping on Edit, you can now see options to create new folders and scenes. By tapping on a folder or a scene, you then also have the option to edit and delete them. Let's go through the journey of creating an image scene. Press Add Scene, enter a title for the scene and press Save. Then choose Image Scene and where you want to source your image from. Once the scene has been added you can draw your first hotspot. Then press inside the hotspot to add actions. The simplest action is to record audio in this modal and save the hotspot. Alternatively, you can select additional editing where there is many more options. Here you can choose to use text-to-speech voices for audio, you can choose which voices use for this in settings. You can link a video to play when the hotspot is selected. You can allocate a word here which will play a transition to literacy sequence when the hotspot is selected. For a sight word, enter the whole word and press the microphone to record its production. For decoding, Enter each phoneme or syllable in a separate box and record the production of each separately. Link to scene allows you to transition to another scene when the hotspot is pressed. Finally, display name will add a label to the hotspot showing your desired text. At the top right of the screen, you can see three more options. You can archive the scene which will hide it from the navigation panel when you are not in edit mode. You can create a grid from the hotspots in the scene that you have created. And finally, you can export the scene. Let's go through the journey of creating a video scene. Again, press Add Scene, enter a title for the scene and press Save. Then choose Video Scene and where you want to source your video from. Once your video has been added you can crop the video using the Start and End tabs if useful. Pressing play will play through the video and pressing add scene will add your first scene wherever the white progress marker is currently. You can add as many frames as you would like. Then simply add hotspots like a normal image scene. Press the blue tick in the top left corner to leave edit mode. You can go to the visual timetable by pressing on the purple calendar icon. Again press to enter edit mode in the top left corner to edit. By pressing a cell in the timetable, you can now allocate a scene or a symbol to that time slot. You can select for this to appear at the same time on multiple days of the week. At the top right, you can switch between a day and week view. Next to this you can also filter specific days and times to show using the filter icon. Again in the top left, the blue book icon will take you to communication books. Here you can group scenes into books and tap through them in order. Note that the hotspots will not be active. Press Add Book to enter a name and then select the scenes you wish to add to the book in order. It's that easy. Finally head to Settings. In general, you can choose the text-to-speech voice to be used, customize the appearance of the hotspots, hide some of the app options if you want further simplification, and import and export scenes. In support, there are different channels through which we offer support and credits list some of the amazing people who have helped us develop Scene and Heard Pro. 
If you need more support, you can contact us by email using the address shown. There are also other ways to get help on our website.